Hey guys, Daniel again. I just wanted to show um, how I got my X-Touch Mini set up because uh, I know it's a little quirky, at least it was for me. Um, so when I first tried to set it up and I was told to put it MC in, uh, in MC mode, uh, it actually didn't respond with logic. Okay, so what I ended up trying was putting it in MIDI mode. Okay, and what happened when I did that is uh, I actually had a piano loaded up at the time and I got this Okay, those piano tones came from the X-Touch Mini. Okay, so it's sending MIDI. It's already sending MIDI messages. Okay. Um, so, what I, what I ended up trying was um, uh, installing a Mackie controlled virtual device and setting the inputs and outputs to the X-Touch Mini. So that's what we're gonna do to get this uh, initial setup going. So we're gonna go to Logic Pro X menu. Menu bar, Logic Pro that, about preferences. Control, control surfaces. surfaces. Control surface. Control setup ellipsis. Setup. Setup. Now in control surface setup window. Edit okay. menu button. And I am using a screen reader. Uh, and but I am also showing the screen so to anyone else that might be interested. Okay, so this is from a blind perspective. But here we go. Uh, so we're in the setup. We're gonna go to uh, new. New. Expect new menu button. Menu. Install ellipsis. And install. Install. Install window. And I'm now gonna find Mankey control in this list of devices. Add button. Scan. Add table. Int manufacture module. Top eight 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 zero two R Samsung Graphite Manufacturer. Samsung. Samsung. So I'm going up. I started from the bottom. I hit View Home, and now I'm going back up. M Audio. 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 Mackie. Mackie Designs. Model. H U I. H U I Channels. M C U Pro. Mackie Control. Mackie Control is what we want. So we're gonna stop interacting with the table. Out of table. Add button. And hit Add. Press Add button. Okay. And Escape. Now in Control. Expanded. Now we have a virtual device. Right, in a sense, called Mackie Control. Device, Mackie Control. And we're gonna go into this first table. Table, notes in table. Ro and set the input ports and output ports to um, to the X Touch Mini. Output port off. Pop. Check mark. X Touch Mini. Press X Touch. Any pop up button. Input port. And the input port. Check mark. X Touch Mini. Press X Touch Mini. All X right. Touch Mini. And so that's basically how you get it going. Okay, so it's actually in MIDI mode. As the uh, from what I understand, from what um, my uh, sighted help told me is that the MC light is not on. Okay, so it's in MIDI mode and it's functioning as a Mackie control device in Logic. Okay, Out of so we're going to go into the next table CS group. and make sure we have a few more parameters set up here. Control surf table, no select in table, okay. no one of 32, flat mode, flat mode, All right, so nice display things. mode. I'm going to go to the channel strip parameter. Clock is channel strip view, fader back, fader back, live loop, channel strip parameter, volume. I want to make sure that's volume because that'll let our encoders control track volumes, okay? Channel surround parameter. And we're going to keep going down. I think we're going to look at um, plug-in parameter. EQ band, EQ parameter, all EQs parameter page. Send slot, send parameter, all sends parameter, split, no, instrument, ins param, hit, insert, type, insert, 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 plug-in parameter page. Plug-in parameter page. I'm going to set this to 8, because I believe it's, from what I understand, it's going to send 8 parameters to be controlled by your device. Okay. Because we only have 8 rotary encoders, we're going to set it to 8. 0, slide, okay, in so slider, go. 10. So it's kind of weird. 0, go. 99, 198, 108, okay, 168. 28, 18, 8. All right, so we got that set up. Out of slider, plug in parameter page. All right, so the plug in parameter page is 8. 8, eight slider. parameters at a time. Plug in param page, split lower. Okay. Channel strip track. And I believe that's all we got to worry about here. So we're going to hit um, Command W. Piano, part. All right, so now where my device was previously playing piano notes, it should be having its normal transport and all these functions already available. 1 bar, 1 beat, 1 so, division, 1, 3 beats, 4 divisions, 212 so tick. Play. Five bars, one Stop. Beat, one bar, one beat, one division, one right, So now they're all available. Okay. Now, as I mentioned on the other uh, recording, well, in the XH Mini, there are no arrow or cursor keys. Therefore, you can't scroll through parameter pages, okay, um, without making a modification. So I took rewind and fast forward, and I used those to modify. And I turned those, key, those buttons into, you know, up and down as far as parameter pages for plugins. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, um, I've tried to do this as fast as I can. So we're gonna hit Option Shift K to open the, con the controller assignments dialog. Controller assignments window. Okay. Controller assignments. And make sure we're in expert view. Link button. Easy view. Expert view. Selected. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the, to the bottom of this. Learn mode button. 
and go add, to add, mode, button, add zone button scroll vertical split table row eight of twelve this first table that you interact that you come across when you come from the bottom okay Ver table row eight of twelve right. control this is like your kind of list of assignments all right so I'm gonna hit one of these buttons one of these rewind buttons or something just to get it to to, to go to that assignment fast forward command shuttle forward okay so here we go so we got it going verticals table row one of two Con so if we interact with the table now so what i did there was i just hit rewind and fast forward to pull up the table vertical table row one of two control okay, so fast forward you see that parameters command shuttle forward selected shuttle forward and shuttle, shuttle backward those are weird commands to start with but anyway i'm going to interact with the table. In table control fast forward rewind rewind and fast forward right fast forward those are the rows i'll start with fast forward fast forward Make sure you have it highlighted. Now you stop interacting with the table. Out of take vertical splitter. And go to this scroll area. Scroll area. Okay. And these are all the attributes of this assignment. I'm going to interact with that. In scroll area. Controller assignment. Okay. Control name. And I'll uh, just start at the top Controller. and deal right until I control what I need to get to. Fast forward. Label. Edit. Tap. Flip. Group. None. Exclusive. Up. Class. Class. Okay. Key command. Pop. We're going to change that Class. from key, key command. command to control surface. Setting, I think it's menu called. setting. Item. Control surface group. Control surface group. Excuse me. Closing menu. Control surface group. Pop up. Okay. Parameter. Flat mode. Pop up. And then the parameter. parameter flat mode. Pop up. We're gonna menu find. Items, check mark. Flat mode. Display mode. Plug in parameter page. Plug in parameter page. So I just hit P. Okay. And I hit field space. Closing menu. Plug in parameter. Plug in parameter page. Alrighty. Bank type. Now bank type by one pop up. I'm button. gonna set this to CS. Menu free items. Setting. I think it's called. By bank. CS group setting. CS group setting. Okay. Closing menu. CS group setting. MIDI input message. Input. Extra Not going to touch that. Value change. 95. None of this because these are the actual MIDI messages. Note C. Touch slash. Dim. Tap. O. F. C. Message. Value. Edit. Tap. Touch slash. Release. Edit. Label. Edit. Tap. So value stream. Feel right. Edit. Tap. Value. Min slash max. Zero. One. Format. Unsigned. Multiply. Okay. And this multiply. 1.00. Contact. We're going to leave it at 1.00. Okay. That's just how the value is going to change. Okay. So we're going to leave it at 1.00. 1 so that it could um, go down the pages, okay? Mode. And mode, Direct. Pop. we're gonna go to, this mode we're gonna set to relative. Menu seven, toggle, scaled, relative. Closing menu, relative, pop-up button. Okay. Feedback, automatic, pop-up button. And that's it, that's it for this one. So we're gonna yeah, stop interacting. Out of scroll, verticals, table, row. And go to the In next table, assignment. Fast forward, rewind. Which is rewind. Fast forward, parameter, plug in parameter, command shuttle, control, yeah. rewind. Rewind, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Out of <laughs> vertical okay. scroll area. All right, now we're going to the scroll area. In scroll area, controller. Same side. idea. Control rewind label. So edit we'll... flip none exclusive class. Key command pop so menu setting items control surface group. Control surface group. Closing menu. Parameter, parameter. flip mode menu fully item plug in parameter page. page. Cl Bank type by one pop Bank up button type. menu by CS group CS settings group closing setting. menu MIDI input mask input. X touch mini value 90 notes touch slash dim OFC value edit tap touch slash release edit tap label okay. edit value string edit text value min slash max zero one format format unsigned multiply multiply this is the one we're looking for 1.00 <clears throat> so I'm gonna put a minus sign here in edit text 1.00 one, one okay hyphen that way it'll go back up okay so rewind is gonna take us back up and fast forward is gonna let us go down the pages Okay. Out of edit, multiple, minus one point, mode, hyphen, feedback, automatic, pop, text, feed. And that's it for that. Verticals, table, roach. All right, so <clears throat> the other modification that I wanted to make is the solo mode button, which is the second button on the top row of buttons. Okay, and I'll just do this one just to show you how to assign a key command. Okay, so I'm going to hit the button. Solo, command solo mode. So you took us to the assignment. Vertical split table, row 7 of 12, control, solo, parameter, command, solo mode. So okay, go to the scroll area. Vertical split, scroll area, in scroll area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Controller assignment, control, solo, label, edit text, flip group, none, content, exclusive, uncheck, checkbox. I'm going down. Class, key command, pop-up button. Key command is fine. Command, global commands, pop-up button. It's in the global commands. Show, button, solo mode, pop-up button. it's a solo mode. So, what I found is the best way to do this is to hit the button that show, says button. show. Key, key commands. You okay, it takes us to the key commands dial, actually, which is pretty cool. Club key commands. All right, so I'm gonna look for toggle solo. Key commands. Act all. You key go to the search search bar. Touch on you. Custom multi conflict pressed vertical splitter. Search key commands. Search text. Okay, so I'm gonna type in toggle. T O E toggle solo. O O solo. Okay, and table. Let's find it. Let's see. Command. Global command. Command. Toggle writing solo automatic. Toggle channel strip solo star. Yeah. 
toggle canister solo, I think is what I want. Out of tape keyboard, key, cap at, learn by key so, label, cap at. Yeah, it has S as a key learn command. By key label, learn by delete so button. I'm just view right. Touch bar. Hitting view right. Edit tap, label, edit tap, color, none, learn touch, delete, assignments, empty, table, learn new assignment button. So I'm going to hit right here. Assignments. This is assignments, view right. Empty. Learn new assignment and button. And this is learn new assignment. Okay. I'm going to view space that button and then I'm going to hit the solo button on my X touch me. Learn new. Press learn new assignment button. And it's going to pull up a, a notice here. Cancel button. Okay. This, con this control is already assigned to another parameter. This control is already assigned to another parameter. Do you want to reassign the control? So I'm going to reassign it. Cancel. Keep both. Reassign. Default button. Press reassign. Default button. Key and command. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to get out of here. Close. Close button. Now in rain. Rain for XDM tutorial. Alright. So now your plugin parameters are set to rewind and fast forward. And your solo button is now solo mode. Okay. Uh, hope this uh, little overview tutorial was helpful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.